there are proposals to build in Rawang two waste to energy incinerators for municipal solid waste. The first is under the Federal Government, Ministry of Local Government Development, and it is the relocation of the waste to energy incinerator with a daily incineration capacity of 1,200 tons from the original site in Taman Beringin, Kepum. And this is to be moved to a location which is called Rawang Land Tree. And I have obtained from a parliament answer that Rawang Land Tree is a location within a radius of 1.4 kilometers from KIR, KRI Industrial Park, 1.5 kilometers and 2 kilometers radius to the residential areas of Taman Tun Perak, Taman Tun Teja, and Taman Pingiran Pelangi, respectively. And you can see the radius. It is right in the middle of an industrial park, in, right in the middle of a residential area. Within the two mile radius of densely populated not far from here, if you are taking a direct route less than 15 kilometers, is Batu Arang. Yeah. Now this is between Batu Arang and Banda Tase Putri, and not far from Banda Tase Putri is M Residence. Yeah. And more importantly is that it is next to Batu Arang, open cast number nine, the geology of the two areas. As I have said, Batu Arang is an ex-mining area. It, there has to be a study whether it is safe, whether you are taking the lighter and burning the gas that is underneath. Then it will be worse than the atom bomb. Same also with Rawang, and this, there are dangers there, New, and more detailed studies are required. So these are the reassurances that I am asking on behalf of the people in Rawang, on behalf of the people in Selayang, on behalf of the people in Malaysia, on behalf of the people in this world. Residents, parents, students, business owners, workers, have a legitimate concern and are entitled to ask for information and to obtain reassurance and guarantee from both the state and federal government that the two ways to energy incinerators operating simultaneously within a radius of 15 kilometers do not expose them to health and environment risks. Otherwise, the application of the precautionary principle requires that the two incinerators have to be relocated or aborted. If the waste to energy incinerators do not pose health and environment risk to the community living next to the incinerators, why is the municipal waste from Kuala Lumpur have to be taken and transported all the way to Rawang to be incinerated. If it is so safe, keep the Kuala Lumpur rubbish in Kuala Lumpur and incinerate it there. Equality before the law also requires that the same considerations be given to the Rawang residents. If the Kepung residents' objections can be taken into consideration, should not the Rawang residents' objections should also be given equal consideration. If City Hall has the development plan for the surrounding areas in Kepung, why can't the development plan in Rawang be given equal consideration? 
are the people in Rawang less of a citizen with less rights than the people in Kuala Lumpur? Is not the Selangor government's responsibility to look after the welfare and interests of the Selangor people, of the Rawang people? These are questions that we are asking. Are we a different class of citizens because we are in Rawang? 